Hello, David here with a demo of the ARA web application interface. So uh, before we begin, let me tell you a little bit about what's ARA. ARA stands for Ansible Run Analysis. And what it does is that it records Ansible playbook runs seamlessly to make them easier to visualize, understand, and troubleshoot. Um, ARA doesn't run your playbooks for you. It integrates with Ansible wherever you run it. So whether you're running Ansible from your personal laptop or from a server, you basically just need to install Ara and you're good to go. Here we have the About page of the interface. It's a, it's a simple way of highlighting the data that um, Ara is making available to you. So here we have uh, five playbook runs. We have 61 tasks. We have task results. We have hosts. Uh, we have host facts. Um, Ara also saves your playbook role in task files. And then we have records. Uh, records is basically a simple key value store that allows you to save um, any arbitrary data and associate it with your playbook report. We'll take a look at what it looks like later. Otherwise, what's awesome about ARA is the uh, reporting interface. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Here we have a list of playbook reports. Um, there's a lot of information here, so let's go through just one report and uh, it'll give you an idea of um, what ARA can do. Here we have, uh, first we have the permanent link to each playbook report. So pretend you want to share um, a specific report with your colleague or friend. Uh, you click here, it gives you a, a page and a permanent link to this one playbook report. Uh, then you have the status of each playbook. So this is a way um, of uh, making obvious at a, at a quick glance what's the status of each playbook run. So this one was completed successfully. Um, this one is either in progress or it was interrupted. This one completed with errors um, and so on. Then we have uh, the date at which the playbook started. We have the, 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 the playbook file as well as the full path. And then if we click on a playbook, um, we actually see uh, the whole playbook file. Um, this, is, uh, this is saved in a persistent way in ARA. So even if your playbook changes on your, on your own computer, uh, this will remain the same. So you can go back in time uh, to see um, what, what, uh, what, what the playbook really ran with. Then you have um, a permanent link to, to each file. So if you click here, uh, you can share this file with someone. Then we have um, the duration of the playbook. So this one took 12 seconds. We have um, the parameters. So the parameters, um, you have the Ansible playbook command, right? And then you can pass options to that command. So these are all of the possible options that you can pass to um, your Ansible playbook command. And what were their, um, what were their value um, for that command? So for example, you have the inventory, uh, you have uh, tags, or you have uh, skip tags, um, or extra vars. So extra vars is not saved by default, um, just because um, it, it tends to be used to pass uh, things like passwords and so on. Um, but you can uh, enable, disable that. You can basically filter um, any of the variables if you feel there's sensitive information that we, you would not share um, in a report. Then you have the hosts that were involved in this playbook. So here we, here we have two hosts, and then the amount of task for each status, so OK, changed, and so on. Um, we gathered facts for this particular playbook. So what this gives us is a quick uh, summary of the facts here. So we see the FQDN, uh, the distribution, the version, and the IP addresses. Um, and then if I click on the host, um, I, I am able to see all of the facts um, that Ansible gathered um, during this playbook. And then uh, same thing, I can, I can share all of the host facts with someone here with this uh, permanent link. Um, and then, so you have uh, the search box here. So the search box here uh, allows you to search uh, by inventory host name, so the names that you see here, are also um, the from the, the, the data that you see here uh, in the um, fact uh, summary. 
So pretend I search for a local host, it's going to only show up local host. But um, if I search for CentOS, um, it will show up the machines that match uh, CentOS. If I search for Fedora, well, there's no Fedora hosts here. So that's why it's not picking up anything. Um, so I could I could search for an IP address or part of the IP address and it would it would match. So if you're running against a lot of hosts, this is a good um, and quick way to filter down your results. Um, then we have uh, the plays. So here we have three plays. So we have the name of each play, um, the date at which the, the play started, at which it ended, and then the duration of each play. Since um, every column is sortable, you could you could sort by duration um, to easily tell uh, which play took the longest, for example. Next, we have the files. Um, so Ara saves um, the playbook and the role task files that are involved in this part of your playbook. So uh, here we have uh, our playbook file that we saw earlier. But then we also have um, this role that's called smoke tests, and then a task, uh, all of the task files that are in there. And if I click on a task file, I can see um, the actual uh, task file that ran um, as part of this playbook. Everything is there. Then we have the task results. So the task results um, are, are really great. Um, so first you have the task name. So here we have smoke tests. That's a, it's a role name that we saw earlier. We have the task name. Uh, we have the host at, uh, against which uh, this task ran. We have um, the action. And then if I click um, on an action, it pulls up the task file and it highlights the particular task um, the particular uh, action for this task. So this, this gives you context um, to tell you um, wh where, where this task ran um, inside uh, your role and your playbooks. Um, then you have the elapsed column, which uh, basically just tell it's an order uh, from beginning to the end, uh, but you could um, reverse it to see the end of the playbook first, for example. Then you have um, the duration, so the duration of each task. Uh, you can you can sort uh, to see which task took the longest, for example. And then you have uh, the status of each task, so changed, OK, skipped, failed, and so on. Um, and then if I click uh, on the status, um, the the whole uh, information about the, the task will come up. So I can see here it installed the uh, strace and TCP dump. It was um, a task that would uh, install packages. Um, and then uh, the search box here. So the search box here um, allows you to search uh, through uh, the task names uh, or any fields, really. Um, so pretend I want to search by role. I'll go and search for smoke tests. And only the smoke test uh, tasks would come up. Um, I can also search by uh, uh, tags. So uh, here we see, for example, this ta uh, this task has two tags. I search just for two uh, for tags, so it matches like both untag and very tag. And then this one search uh, matches tag. I could go and search for a tag, then only this one task would come up. Um, I can search for part of the um, part of the task name, so install test packages, and same thing. It allows you to filter, um, and then I can search by host. So here I have uh, local host. Uh, I could search for local host, but you know almost everything here runs against local host. But if you would have um, many different tasks again uh, against uh, many different hosts, you could filter them here. Same thing for uh, every column. Um, where it gets interesting is that you can also search by status. So um, pretend, so right, so this playbook failed, right? Um, so what do I do to uh, find uh, where it failed? I could go and search through the uh, thousand lines of playbook, line, of playbook output, or I could 
open up Ara, go into the, into the tasks, and then search for failed. And then I can see right away uh, what failed, uh, what's, what was the output, and um, where it happened in the context of the playbook. Uh, next and last, we have the records. So uh, the records, um, like I told you earlier, is a key value store inside ARA. It allows you to uh, record um, just about anything that you can think of. Um, some examples are um, the Git version of your playbooks or um, a, new, a new URL to retrieve logs, for example. And um, you can also uh, pass uh, a type to the value that you record. So here, for example, we have uh, JSON. So it's uh, formatted, uh, it's pretty printed um, uh, appropriately. Here we have a new URL. Uh, here we have just regular text. Um, this is a dictionary. And then we have a list. Um, maybe eventually we could have uh, more ways of formatting things like, I don't know, uh, markdown or restructured test, uh, text. Um, so that's what I wanted to show you about ARA. Um, I hope you like it. If you have any questions, you can find uh, users and developers um, on IRC. We're on Freenode on the Pound ARA. I'm DM Simard, and thanks for watching this demo.